Hello, everybody, and welcome to MDM for you with the mathematics of data management. This is your first exercise, and it's the interactive syllabus. So we have uh, five units of study here in MDM for you. In the very first one, we do counting and probability. Now, the counting sounds maybe a little simple, but I prefer to think about it as uh, how to win at Monopoly or potentially how to win at uh, Blackjack. So if you've ever watched uh, the movie 21, basically what they're doing in that movie, which is based on a true story, is doing some counting and probability exercises. And essentially all you have to do is count up all the possible outcomes and compare them to the desired outcomes, and that's how you deal with the probability of counting. Now, the estimated time of arrival or the number of days we'll spend on counting and probability is 17 days. So that'll be a, quite a while to learn how to count, don't you think? In our second unit, we're going to be learning about organizing data for analysis. And so if you watched Hans Rosling uh, give an example of all the data from Gapminder, you'll see a lot of refinement has gone on. We're going to become familiar with the process of gathering that data and refining it so that we can analyze it and use it later. The ETA for this unit Unit 2 is 13 days. Unit 3 is statistics, and really statistics is preparing and understanding meaningful mathematical descriptions of data. And so we'll learn, and so you'll learn how to refine and understand data. And so, for example, when somebody tells you, well, 50% of doctors graduated in the bottom half of their class, that's going to mean something more meaningful to you than perhaps to the average person. Uh, we have an ETA on this unit of about 20 days. For unit 4, we're going to be looking at probability distributions. Now the important thing to understand when it comes to probability distributions is that some things are more likely to happen than others. For example, when we're playing Monopoly, the chance of getting a 7 is greater than the chance of getting a 12. And so it becomes meaningful if we look at the way those outcomes of rolling two die in Monopoly, for example, are distributed in terms of their probability. That being said, not everything distributes like the chances of getting a seven when you roll two die. And so we're going to be learning about those probability distributions, and this will take us about 11 days. For unit five, we will be modeling continuous data, which is actually the most common type of data that you see modeled with statistics. How can we represent continuous data? For example, height. So rather than something that's discrete, like what's the outcome of two rolls of a dice, we'll be looking at height, which could be distributed in an infinite number of possible measurements. And so the distributions for continuous data need to be modeled in a slightly different way. It will take us about 11 days to get through modeling.